we got one more day left in this work and school week, but let's be honest, it's going to be really nice out tomorrow. And if this turns into a two and a half or three day weekend, not going to blame you at all. And as we get into the weekend, going to be one of the warmest of the year so far. 88 degrees, our forecast high on Saturday, 86 on Sunday, a lot different than last weekend when we were in the 60s and 70s. We've also got mostly dry weather this weekend, but we've got some rain chances that have gone up as we head into next week. And speaking of going up, temperatures went up. Some of us climbed into the low 80s today. In fact, it's still 81 down in Irwin and Harnett County and down in Fayetteville and Rayford in at 82. Most everyone else, though, very comfortable and in the 70s. You know, we had to be careful what we ask for because temperatures will continue to warm up this weekend, but the humidity level will go up a little bit too. So it's actually going to feel a little muggy at times, especially on Saturday. A lot different than how we started the week, isn't it? For tonight, though, we're going to keep it dry and partly cloudy, with temperatures falling down to about 72 at 8 o'clock through the 60s tonight, and we'll wind up about 60 degrees on Friday morning early on. That also a lot different than some of the 30s and frost we had to start the week. So looking at the big picture, there's kind of a lot going on, even though there's not a lot going on. High pressure still the dominant factor in our weather the next few days. It'll keep us generally dry. It'll continue to pull up warm air from the south, and that's why we've got a nice stretch of 80s on the way. But we also have this system down in the tropics that continues to develop could become a named tropical or subtropical system in the next couple of days. So in the past 24 hours, a few things has changed. Number one, if you'd look down there now, there are clouds. Remember, we've been talking about this thing since Monday and Tuesday when there wasn't anything there. So the system we've talked about going to develop, it's starting to develop because we see some clouds down there. And now there's a 70% chance it could develop into a named system in the next two days and an 80% chance in the next five days. So we won't get too caught up in the numbers, but things are working out as expected. So what's going to happen with this system? Well, let's bring in the forecast. Big picture, we'll look at what's going on in North Carolina, what's going on with the tropical system, and the high pressure that we are going to come to love in the next few days. So we'll pick it up tomorrow morning. High pressure still bringing in southerly wind, still keeping us dry. Temperatures will continue to warm. That's what's happening Friday. Not a whole lot going on with the system. It'll continue to get a little better organized. And then as we get into the weekend, it may or may not get a, a name. It may or may not form into a subtropical or a tropical system. But whatever happens with the name, it's still going to carry some moisture out into the open waters of the Atlantic. Might throw a shower toward the coast. It might stir up some waves and a rip current or two along the coast. But impacts here in central North Carolina, non-existent right now. But this is where it'll be Sunday night. So as we go from Sunday night, it'll get a little closer into the early part of next week to the coast of North Carolina. But again, no major impacts here. For us, we'll turn our attention back to the west because Monday into Tuesday, we've got a cold front. That cold front will bring us some scattered showers, and you'll see that on the extended forecast. So tomorrow, we're still dry and in the mid-80s. We continue to warm in the mid and upper 80s this weekend, and then here comes our better rain chances from a cold front. Monday and Tuesday, that cold front will drop us from the 80s to the 70s Monday into Tuesday. And then as we get into late next week on your 10-day forecast, getting ready for Memorial Day weekend, we're back into the mid to upper 80s. Guys?